Hi, I'm Susanna Winton, and welcome to Jerry's Artorama Free Art Lessons. We're going to be painting a mouth today, and um, I'm going to start with the basic skin tone colors. We're going to be using Windsor Yellow and Opera Rose, and I'm just going to lay in the color right down and around the mouth, and then um, while it's wet, I'm going to lay the Opera Rose right on top. And um, just want to soften my edges. And um, I like to work in a lot of layers, so we're going to stop and blow this dry, and then we're going to come right back. We're back for step two, and we're going to uh, be building up the flesh colors. We're staying with the same exact colors, the Windsor Yellow and Opera Rose. And I'm just looking for areas where I can build the color up and strengthen it, um, layering my colors once again, and um, just strengthening the value in the flesh. And I like to get the flesh colors built up around the mouth before I actually um, start painting the mouth. This will make the mouth look more um, natural and believable. The color will be uh, put in before I actually start to work on the mouth. And I'm going to drop in a little blue this time. I could have done that on the first uh, pass, but we'll, we'll drop it in now. It's wet enough that um, we'll drop it in. I'm going to be using uh, cobalt blue. And I'm looking for the areas that I see blue in and around the mouth. I see a little up in the uh, corners and under the mouth. And um, if it gets stuck, you can kind of take the tip of your brush um, with very little water and just kind of move it um, into the uh, spot that you want it to be. And I'm going to pick up a little bit more. And I'm um, going to put some in this little area above the bow of the lip and also down here under the bottom lip. And I'm going to bring it actually over to meet the outer corner of the mouth and make sure that's the only areas that I feel like I need it. And uh, we're going to stop here and dry it. Um, I like to dry in between every layer. Um, if I'm at home, I probably wouldn't be blow drying. I'd just work on another area. But since um, we're, we're trying to get this done quickly, we're going to dry it. And then we'll come back and we'll start applying color to the lips. OK, welcome back. And we're going to be moving on to step three. I'm going to need my glasses for getting into the detailed areas. And I'm also going to switch brushes. I was using a number six round sable. And I'm going to move to a number four. I'm going to be laying in the middle lip line for uh, the lips. And it's uh, a crevice. So uh, with crevice flesh, I like to uh, use very little water and uh, mostly pigment. And so it's a very strong mixture. And here again, I'm still layering the yellow and the red. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start at the corner of the mouth where it's going to be uh, the strongest. And I'm going to drag it across, all the way across the other side and pick up a little more pigment for the corner. And then while that's wet, I'm going to mix up a little bit of Opera Rose um, and generally, when I'm working in the lip area, I like to use Windsor Yellow because it's a cool yellow and it's less dominant. So um, I'm going to go ahead and lay the Opera Rose right on top and pull it all the way across the middle lip line. And I'm going to rinse and pick up some fresh paint. Uh, it was mixing with the yellow, and I want the strongest part to be the outer corners of the mouth. Now, this is an area that's uh, lost easily, so 
I like to get this in early. And then I'm going to soften the bottom side of the, the lip line and go right above it and soften the top edge a little bit as well. Uh, one of the things that you want to keep in mind when you're painting portraits is there's very few hard edges. So with that being said, um, there's a nice little uh, dark crevice here as well on the bottom of the lip. And I'm going to go ahead and get that in uh, now while we're, we're putting in the crevices. So using the same colors, Windsor, Windsor Yellow and Opera Rose. And I'm going to go ahead and lay my Opera Rose right on top of that. And then I'm going to soften this section as well. Um, and that's uh, this little area here is where the lip kind of comes out and turns under. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add some more color um, to different areas around the mouth. Um, this little line uh, here with the yellow and the pink and kind of picking up there, strengthening that up and then this area under here can use a little more color and I'm just looking where I can build up and darken the value around the mouth. There's a, a good amount of color around the corners of the mouth, but I'm going to have to dry this so that I can uh, lay some color over that and it won't bleed. So we're going to break here once again and let me dry it, and then we'll be back for step four. All right, welcome back. We're going to be applying color to the lips now, and we're still using the same colors. We're using Windsor Yellow and Opera Rose. So... Um, we're going to stop, start with the top lip and uh, just give a pale wash of yellow. And um, we want it to be predominantly cool, so we're going to be using a little stronger uh, mixture of the pink over the yellow. And then I'm going to soften my edges, as always. And then we'll go to the bottom lip, and we're going to go on the... Uh, the outer edges of the lip and we're going to add the yellow and this is a stronger pigment uh, of the yellow and then we'll go right over it with the upper rose and then we're going to soften both sides of our shape and then um, you notice how the center of the lip is left highlighted. Now, this is a bit much for uh, the highlight, so we're going to go back toward the middle lip line and add a little bit stronger color in there. And um, we're going to pull it down on the left side and on the right side as well. And then we'll go back over our yellow with the opera rose. And then I'm going to soften this line as well. Now, it leaves the uh, center of the mouth highlighted, and I'm pulling down a little of the paint in the middle where there's more color and just making sure my edges are all soft. A lot of times you'll have edges that are lost in lips, and um, it's a, it gets a little lost over here on the left side and on the right side as well. So we want to make sure that those are really soft edges. Um, we're going to go back uh, up above the lip and add in a little more blue, uh, cobalt blue. And I'm mixing a little of the cobalt violet light with it as well. Um, just laying that in at the corner of the mouth. And we'll do the same for the other side. I'm seeing some blue um, 
in those areas um, above the mouth. And then we'll add a little as well to the area below the lower lip. And this would be the chin down here in this area. And we're just going to uh, just add a little bit of the cobalt blue and cobalt violet in this area as well. And now that we have our bluish purple uh, in, we're going to have to uh, blow dry this as well so that we can strengthen the middle lip line. Um, we'll be using a crevice dark or a shadow, which is usually purple. And it's going to be darker on the corners of the mouth here and um, not quite as dark in the middle lip line. So uh, we'll stop and dry this and then we'll come back for the next step. Mm -hmm.